This way. Let me summon your daughter at once. <sighs> Thank you kindly, Headmistress Mitra. Oh, she looks familiar, don't you think? Yeah. My, do you think she's... <gasps> Huh? Liliana? That must be her. Ah! Mummy! Did you really come to visit me? Liliana! Ah, Liliana! Impeccable timing. Your mother just arrived. Y yes! Thank you, Headmistress Mitra! So that's. Liliana's mom. Yeah, they sure do look alike. Mummy, I'm surprised at how much weight you've lost. Um, are you better now? Yes. I'm all better now, Liliana. Uh, mummy? Forgive me, Liliana. I know my condition has made things hard recently, but that doesn't excuse what I've put you through. I am so sorry for not treating you the way a mother should. Mommy! I... I... <sighs> You're back, Mommy! You're back! Mommy, I love you so much! You love me? Oh, Liliana, you forgive me? Well, I blame the demons and your illness, not you. You're my mummy. <laughs> right, right. Thank you, Liliana. <laughs> your daughter is truly one of a kind. I, I know she is. I don't deserve her. Liliana seems so happy. I know how badly she missed her mom. Yeah, I've never seen her so joyful. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. Oh, my, come on. She wants to introduce us. Oh. Sure. Mummy, this is Mai and Roddy, my new friends. Um, I'm Mai. Nice to meet you. She's such a sweet girl. Good day. My name is Roddy. Liliana is a good friend of mine. Mai, is that so? Thank you for befriending my Liliana. We haven't done much. Oh, it's no problem. She too is an exemplary friend. Roddy is my daughter. What a blessing it is for our daughters to be such good friends. Oh, is that so? Liliana, you're a lucky girl. Yeah. I'm sure you and your daughter have much catching up to do. It's getting late. Would you like to spend the night here with us? Thank you so much, Headmistress Midra. Since she's offering, please stay, Mommy. Oh, really? If it's okay, then how can I say no? You have my thanks. I'd love to stay for the night. It might not be much, but make yourself at home.
A save point. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. That was easy. 
easy. There's a PC here. Hmm. I think you'll be... We have first strike. Let's go! Phew! Lucky! Phew! Ronnie, do it. Jump! Huh. Ronnie, do it. Seems like it can be hacked. I'll examine this. Whew. Ronnie, do it. Jump! Huh. There's a PC here. I'll examine this. No! Go away! I think you'll make it, Roddy. I'll Something's here! This. Roddy, do it! Jump! Huh. Something's I'll here! Take this. Roddy, do it! Ronnie, do it. This will be easy. I'll do my best. There. Ha! Eat this! Ha! I defeated it. That was easy. Yup. We're invincible when paired together. There's a PC here. Let's rest a moment. How rare for a customer and a... I'll accept the mission. That should do it. Welcome. I have good items. Will this be a thank you very much? Will this thank you very much? Will thank you. How rare I will see you again. I'll use this. How is it? Does it fit me? Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Let's head out. Oh, uh
Oh, a save point. Be careful. It's my turn. Phew, that enemy's weakness is... There's a PC here. Successful ambush! I'll do this! Get him, Mai! Ha-ha! Then I'll kill you! <laughs> Die! <sighs> that was easy. Yep, hold up. We're invincible when we're together. I'll use this. We've gotten behind them. It's my turn. Lucky. Phew. Lucky. Lucky. Phew. Here I 
go. It's my turn. There. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Here I go. Try this. Eat this! Fly! I'm powered up! My turn! All right. Get better! Thanks! Yeah! Get out of here! I'll do my best! Temporarily. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. What's going on here? Seems like it can be hacked. Whew. Something's here. I'll take this.
ready for battle. Roddy, do it! Jump! Huh. Jump! Huh. Something's here! Yeah. I'll take this. I think you'll make it, Roddy. Seems like it can be hacked. Seems like it can be hacked. Whew. Seems like it can be hacked. Hmm. Oh, a save point. Seems like it can be hacked.
shadow matter. This isn't good. A save point. Seems like it can be hacked. <sighs> Roddy, do it. Seems like it can be hacked. I'll examine this. Treasure box? <sighs> There's a PC here. Jump! Huh. Roddy, do it. Jump! Huh. Hey, a treasure box. I'll take this. I think you'll make it, Roddy. <sighs> What's going on here? not finding you sooner. I promise you'll never be alone again. Yeah, totally. We're here for you, Liliana. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, your face is filthy. Let me wipe it. Answer us right away. But could you tell us what happened with your mom? We were talking alone in the room. It was fine. Until midway through. My mother grinned at me. Okay. Then? As we spoke, my mother said, Good girl, Liliana. Mommy wants to live with you again. I was ecstatic. So I pleaded her to live with me. Then... Go on. Then... <laughs> it, it was like she felt this sudden pain. And she became scary again. <laughs> what did she do to you? Sorry, that was out of line. If it's painful to talk about, you don't... It's fine. We're friends. You 
you two should know my story. Before, my mother was so different. So much nicer. I was born in a town far, far away. An average family living a quaint life. Liliana, why don't we take you somewhere for our next vacation? Don't be shy. Wherever you want. Your happiness is all that matters to us. I'll be happy anywhere if I have you two. Oh, precious child. <laughs> oh, very well. I will plan a magnificent trip. One you'll never forget. During dinner, my parents and I would eat and talk all night. On their days off, they often took me out. As far as I knew, I had the perfect childhood. One day, the recession hit my father's company hard, and it went under. I think that's when it all started. My father began to isolate himself. Everything changed. It's only noon and you're drinking already. Why don't you get a job? Shut up! What do you know, woman? <sighs> I ask for an inch and you take a mile. I'm fed up. Huh? What'd you say to me? Say it in my face! I'll say it over and over again. Since you don't work, our home is falling apart. When will you wake up? Oh, what the hell? Not you too! You wanna make a fool of me too? Mommy! Daddy! Stop! I woke up to the sounds of my father yelling every morning, followed by some dish or glass shattering. It was like that for a few months. When my grandfather and grandmother, people who were helping us, committed suicide, things between my parents got even worse. My mom... started berating and beating me. What are you looking at, Liliana? <laughs> Mommy? I'm asking what the hell do you think you're looking at, huh? What the hell are you looking at, huh? Ouch! Stop! You want to make a fool of me, too? After a couple of months, my father locked himself in the basement. Only then did my mom stop hitting me. Sure, it was nice to go without being hit, but I just wanted my parents to talk to one another. I also wanted to talk to my parents like I used to, but I couldn't. I was terrified. <gasps> one day, the police began patrolling our house a lot more often. Eastern region, victim is an older male. Several deep lacerations uh, along the abdomen, internal organs appear to be gouged out. Are you serious? That's the fifth this month. This place is cursed. Could be us next. We can't live like this. Word of the serial killer spread hastily throughout the neighborhood. A few days after the first rumors, I saw my father's basement door cracked ajar. I hesitated as I took a step inside, though I was unprepared for what I saw. It was horrible. Daddy, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, oh, Liliana, can't, can't you tell? I'm calling the devil. I need to make him happy. <laughs> Organs were strewn all over the basement. A thick pool of blood oozed below. My stomach sank. These are not from an animal. Where did they come from? <laughs> now, I'll bring joy to the world. <laughs> you know, I've heard voices. The devils. Once I started listening, I realized all of humanity is depressed. What's gotten into you, Daddy? I did what I had to do! 
Whatever I needed to understand this demon, I'm ready. Snap out of it, Daddy! Oh! Well, don't I look normal? Oh, yes! I have a favor to ask. What is it? I'm missing some human organs. Could I use yours? Oh! Let me go! It's all right. I found the key to instant happiness. Daddy? Oh, Liliana, it's you. What are you doing here? Are you making a fool of me? My father succumbed to his derangement, so I fled from the room. I ran out of the house screaming for help to save my dad from the devil. Shortly after, the authorities arrived, bringing with them an exorcist. I assured myself that my father would be saved. My parents' marriage would be saved. But... I was mistaken. The exorcist tied up my father and subjected him to ghastly torture. Shit! Save me! Tighten his ropes! He may resist. Stop! My dad! You're hurting him! I pleaded with them to let him go. But... The adults pinned him down. There was nothing I could do. Child, we are purging the devil from your father's soul. Sit there and be a good girl, okay? Devil? Will Dad be better? That's right. Your father's suffering is the work of the devil. He may be saved yet. If you interfere, we may suspect you too are possessed. We wouldn't want that, would we? So, the exorcist continued to inflict great pain upon my father. Until he was purged. At the end, my father was still. But... They saved my father's soul. It's all the devil's fault. My mother also became ill too. But at least their souls are safe. Liliana. Hmm. Later, when I told my mother that my father had been saved, she said, It's all your fault. All because you looked in that room. You ruined our family. I began to suspect my mother was possessed too. She continued treatment at the hospital. Over time, she's gotten better. Truthfully, this inspired my desire to become an exorcist. I want to spare innocent children from my fate and grow up fatherless. <sighs> it seems my mother is still not fully herself, though. Her behavior is unthinkable to me. I see. That must have scared you. But your mother was recently discharged. Maybe she's just tired. True. She may not be all better, but she wanted to see you so bad that she came. Indeed. I just hope you're right. She said she didn't want me. Only because she's ill, right? Of course. I'll say it as many times as you need to hear it. You did nothing wrong. Okay. Alright, let's go home. Wanna come up to our room? Yeah, come on. Wait, what about Abigail? Wasn't she with you? A Abigail? No, I didn't see her. I just ran and cried. Before I knew it, I was alone. Hmm. Oh, maybe she lost sight of you and went back to the dorm. Liliana? Are you okay? I... 
I I'm fine. Let's find Abigail together. No, I can handle it. You two go back to the dorm. But if you go alone... It's fine. As soon as I find Abigail, I'll go home too. Okay, got it. You better come back soon. I'll wait up for you, Mai. Don't be so sappy, Roddy. It's not safe here. Go on and take Liliana back. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Abigail, where are you? Totally. Abigail's a great RA. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Good point. Liliana looks tired. Let's go. Okay. Something's here. I'll take this. Abigail? Oh, my! What do I do? I lost sight of Liliana! She's fine. We just found her. She calmed down, so Roddy's taking her back. Oh, great. I tried to keep up, but I'm out of shape. Uh, frustrating. <sighs> I'm just glad she's safe. Thanks for finding her, my. Hey, you ran after her straight away. I just stood there. Normally, you're pretty mellow, but you reacted immediately. That was unexpected. Hey, no problem. Liliana is one of our most cherished residents. Yeah, but when push comes to shove, not many act in the face of trouble. Well, well, is that praise I hear? <laughs> Thank you, Mai. Anyway, I'm glad I found you. Roddy and Liliana were worried. Let's head back to the dorm. Okay. Oh, earlier? I thought I saw something strange in the woods. Uh, wish I could see it again. What was it? Weird lettering. I had never seen that font before. If you're curious, we can look for it when it's light out. Hmm. You make a good point. At this hour, we might not be able to see it. You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. 
I forgot how late it was. I wonder if it was a password. Anyways, let's go. Sure thing. Roddy, Liliana, I'm back. Uh, huh? They're not here. Are they in my room? You're kidding. They should have made it home by now. Ugh. No! No! <sighs> I think we parted ways around here. What? What's that sound? Is someone there? Maybe it's a farmer, but why would they work out in the dark? Did something happen to them? Guys, where are you? Someone's gutting a fish or something. Totally. Abigail's a great RA. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Good point. Liliana looks tired. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 